Good morning, Chantilly, and welcome back, Chargers. We are so excited to get the 2023-2024 school year started together. Special shout out to our freshman class of 2027. Welcome to the Chantilly family. We hope each of you had a chance to check out the building this morning and see a lot of new purple in our hallways, our stairwells, our cafeteria, and even outdoors. We're excited about some of our enhancements and upgrades, specifically a new eating area right outside the cafeteria at door 11. This morning, we want to take some time to give you updates about new administrative and student services team members. We want to take this time to talk about the bell schedule and some changes you might hear throughout the day, as well as give an update on the lunch schedule and introduce the school to our theme for the year, Lead the Charge. Finally, we'll end this video with talking about dismissal because we want to make sure all 3,000 of you get home quickly and safely. This year, we are still divided by our five subschools. For those of you who are new to Chantilly, each of you is assigned to a subschool based on your last name. For returning students, we have not changed the alphabet distribution, so you are in the same subschool as last year. You may notice though in subschool three, we have a new assistant principal, Ms. Hawkins, and in subschool four, you'll see a familiar name, Mr. Romine, who's in a new position going out of subschool four. Our counselors are also located inside our subschools. In subschool one, you'll see a new name, Ms. Rainier, but it's not a new person as Ms. Pringle got married this summer and is now Ms. Rainier. In subschool two, some of you may notice a Miss Singley. She is filling in for Miss Snyder who had a baby this summer and will be taking some time off um, and Miss Singley will be in her place. Subschool three, you guys have no changes this year. And in subschools four and five, you may see a TBD. That means we are to be determined and looking hard to find a counselor to fill those roles for you. Let's take this time now to meet our administrative team, student services team, and office staff. Hello Chargers, I'm Dr. Goodlow. I'm your proud principal here at Chantilly High School. And I wanna introduce you to our friendly office team. Hi, I'm Mrs. McAllister, I'm the administrative assistant. Hi, I'm Ms. Crosby, I'm the finance technician. I am Mrs. Rutherford, I'm the administrative assistant. Be sure to come see us and Yay! go Chargers! Hi Chantilly, we are Subschool One and we work with students from the last names A to F-R-A. I'm Mr. Shin, I'm the Assistant Principal. I'm Ms. Escobar, I'm the Admin Assistant. I'm Mrs. Rainier, um, I serve students A through B-O-L. I'm Mrs. Wolin, I have students whose last names begin with B-O-M through D-A-N-H. And I'm Mr. Sousa, I work with students last names D-A-N-I through F-R-A. Welcome to Chantilly. Hello, we are Subschool 2. My name is Mr. O'Reilly. I'm one of two assistant principals here. The other is Mr. Winfrey, and we service the alphabet. FRB. Through MATI. So hi everyone, I'm Ms. Sullivan. I'm a counselor in Subschool 2. I support students with the last names FRB through HUS, and I look forward to a great year. And the other two counselors we have are Mr. Cardozo and Ms. Uh, Snyder, who are not here at this time. The other person that's very important in this sub school is Ms. Vasquez, our lovely admin assistant. Welcome. Hi, I'm Zach Winfrey, assistant principal in sub school two. I uh, work with the students with the last names D A N I through H U S. Hey, Chantilly. Welcome back. We are sub school three. We work with students. M-A-T-J to R-A-J-A. I'm Mrs. Hawkins, I'm the uh, administrator. I'm Mrs. R, I'm the admin assistant. I'm Ms. Taylor, I'm the counselor. I work with M-A-T-J to N-O-L. Hi, I'm Mrs. Klontz, and I work with students with the last name N-O-M to R-A-J-A. Welcome, Welcome to Chantilly! Chantilly! 
Hi, this is Sub School 4. My name is Ms. Lehman. I'm the assistant principal. We have students with the last names R, A, J, B through Z. And not here is Miss Allen. She's the first face that you'll see when you come into Sub School 4. Hi, I'm Mr. Payton, school counselor for last names R, A, J, B through S, H, E, O. Hi, I'm Mrs. Scott. I serve as students S, H, E, P through T, Q. Hi, I'm Mr. Romine. I'm the other assistant principal in Sub School 4. I work with all students on attendance and academic and behavioral supports. And if you are in the very last part of the alphabet, we are working hard on getting you a counselor. Come on down to Sub School 4 and we'll help you find where you need to be. Hi everyone, welcome to Chantilly. I'm Mrs. Edwards, I'm the assistant principal in Sub School 5. Sub School 5 doesn't have an alphabet, um, but we work with a variety of different students. And I'm also the class sponsor of the class of 2025. Hi Chargers, I'm Mrs. Lombardi. I am the Special Ed Department Chair for Sub School 5 and I'm also helping out with some of the schedule things. All right, have a great year everyone. Hi, I'm Mr. Setter. I'm the Academy Administrator. Uh, Chantilly Academy has students not only from Chantilly High School, but every high school in Fairfax County Public Schools. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wana and I'm the Career Experience Specialist for Chantilly Academy. Hello, I'm Mr. McCourt and I am one of the Academy Counselors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Portell. I'm one of the other Academy Counselors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stern and I'm the Finance Officer. Hi, I'm Ms. Nichols and I am the Administrative Assistant for Chantilly Academy. Welcome, Welcome to Chantilly! Hi, I'm Corey Bowerman, Director of Student Activities. I'm Kevin Ford, Assistant Director of Student Activities. I'm Barb Bliss, Activities Office, Administrative Assistant. Good morning and welcome Chargers. I'm Amy Parmentier, the Director of Student Services, and I am so glad you're here. It's going to be a great year. And I'm Deb Marciello, the Student Information Assistant. I'm Liz Fisher, the Registrar. Lori Marsingale, Transcript Assistant. One of the biggest changes you're going to see this school year is our bell schedule. Although we start school and end school at the same time from 8.10 to 2.55, you will notice that our periods this year are only 85 minutes. This was done to give you guys eight minute passing time in between classes. We heard your feedback. We know you needed this extra time to make it from class to class. So now our expectation is you will get to class on time. You're also gonna hear some new tones in between classes. With three minutes to go, you will hear a three tone bell. That indicates you have three minutes left to get to class. Then with one minute to go, you will hear that warning music. When that music is over, that means you need to get into your class and you have 30 seconds left. We want to make sure each one of you gets to class on time this year with our extended eight minute passing time. Another change you're going to hear is during lunches, there is going to be a tone that indicates the start of B, C, and D lunch. This tone is also indicating when A, B, and C lunch needs to return to class for the start of the class portion. We always know that you want to know what lunches you have. There are some changes from last year. So when you arrive at your fifth period class today and your sixth period class tomorrow, your teacher will indicate to you which lunch period you have this year. Since we have close to 3,000 students in the building this year, we set up a new outdoor eating area that's going to allow over 100 of you to go eat outside. We highly recommend uh, making the most of the picnic tables, benches, and outdoor space um, right outside door 11. So get your lunch, head on out there, and spread yourselves out throughout both the cafeteria and our new outdoor eating area. This school year, you're gonna see a lot of posters about lead the charge. We wanna make sure each one of our chargers are showing and displaying character, honesty, accountability, respect, growth, and empathy throughout all times of the day. Whether you're in a shared space like the hallway or the cafeteria, you're in a classroom, and anytime you're interacting with other students and staff, we want to know that you are leading the charge and showing these characteristics. 
So take some time to read these new posters you'll see all around the school. And at the end of this video, we will partake in a lead the charge lesson during LS2. So we hope throughout this entire school year, we'll see each one of you leading the charge. Finally, at the end of the day, we want to make sure everybody is able to lead the school quickly and safely. If you are a walker, bike rider, or kissin' rider, please make sure you exit quickly um, right after the bell rings. For those of you who are riding buses, if your bus number is between 80s and 90s, your bus will be located in the front of the school. If your bus number is between 1 and 50, it'll be located on the side of the school near the tennis courts. How do you know which bus location you should go to? Scan the QR codes that you'll see all throughout the building, and today your seventh period teachers will share with you. That QR code will open up a Google spreadsheet which will show you the location of the bus. So we wanna make sure you find your bus quickly and we're able to get everyone home as quick as possible after school. We are so excited to have all of you guys back this year for this school year. We know everyone is gonna lead the charge. So we hope everyone has a great day and welcome back chargers.